When you first go into Google Calendar, it'll be one of the links, of course, in the black bar across the top. If you're in Docs, you'll see it there too, and you would just click on Calendar. And the first thing you'll need to do is set up dif different calendars if you want. I don't recommend just having one main calendar. I like to have different ones. So I have the family calendar here. I can see it or turn those events off. This is a library use calendar. Maybe I wanted to add a calendar for uh, just just my department, say you know, the English department. I was a member of and just wanted to add a calendar for meetings. So to create a calendar, you just click Add, and you give the calendar a name. And since this is a department one, I might want to have this shared with other people. And so down at the bottom, I can decide who I would like to share it to. And I can decide if they can just see all the events on it. I can make the calendar public so everybody can see it anyway. I can make it just viewable in Jefferson County Schools or I can allow all my team members to be able to make changes um, to the events as well. So I could just go in here and then if you just start typing people's names you'll see that um, their uh, email addresses will come up. So you can just type in the people you want and add as many people as you like to share this with. You just click add person. And then when I go back and create my calendar, <clears throat> I now have a new calendar called department schedule. When I click on this, I can change the color that the events show up. So I can change it to whatever I like. And then when I go to add an event, say we have a department meeting, I can decide if it's going to go to my department schedule, the library calendar, you just pick which one it goes to here. And if you put in the description, the time, it'll actually do the formatting for you. So you can see it's 2 p.m. department meeting right here on my calendar on the department schedule. So if I don't want to see the department meetings, I can just click and hide that calendar. If I click on it again, it turns it back on. If I want to move that event to another day, I can just click and drag and it just reassigns the day for me. So I can go in, I can also give myself reminders. I'm gonna go in and edit this. If I have a hard time remembering the meeting, I can go in and click add a reminder. I have email and pop-ups as choices here and I can set the time that I want. Pop-up will just pop up on my computer screen. Probably a really good thing to do is to actually set up your cell phone and then it'll be a choice to um, send you a text message a few minutes before the meeting. So I can do that. And then I can also go in and I can just delete the event right here if something happens. Um, and we don't have that meeting, so that's kind of how to basically just manage events. Something you might want to do is go in and set up your general notifications. So again, from this menu here, I'm just clicking next to the calendar. I have the sharing, I have shortcuts to sharing and displaying and hiding and, if I, and calendar settings. I'm going to go into notifications. If I want, just every time I put a re, an event on this calendar, I want a reminder sent. A few minutes before, I can do that. And if my cell phone is set up, it'll be a choice here to set up your cell phone. It's right down here. Set up your mobile phone to receive notifications. And um, I just need to send them. I put in my cell phone number here, send a code, get that code on the phone, put it in here, finish setup, and then I can have my reminders sent to my cell phone as well. So those are some of the basics on how to get started with your calendar. The main thing you want to do is just decide how many calendars you want and um, which ones you want shared with other people. It's really nice to have the um, calendar shared so that other people can add events to it. Again, you can always go into your settings, your notifications, and put that anytime a new um, event is put on here that you want to be emailed so that you know something's happening. But it's very nice because my husband's calendar is also one of the calendars so um, when he adds something I can see what's going on and when I add something to the family then we can all see what's going on and make changes and edits and so forth. So hopefully that'll get you started with calendar. It's a great organizational tool and I um, hope everything works well. If not, let me know.